His name is Asaf Bakir Makir, and uh, he's the co-founder of Peace Initiative, which has recently been relaunched as Connect. They are one of the first End Ignorance partners, and um, Connect is a movement promoting volunteering and empowering youth in Sri Lanka. And Asaf will present the importance and challenges of volunteering for change. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry to disappoint your uh, excitement in terms of the nice refreshments outside, uh, which I ha know what's there. It's delicious. So um, give me about 10, 15 minutes and um, uh, give you a quick brief of um, why volunteering for change is so exciting. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Um, I'd like to start off with a, a very personal story. This goes back about 15 years. Um, what happened? I was in school. and. Um, studying in the classroom and suddenly there's a huge bang the whole building the whole building shook very violently now for us as students we knew what to do we ducked under the school tables right a moment silence follows panic now a few minutes later we hear a bombs gone off in the nearby central bank in Sri Lanka so that's that's my childhood right and then what happens next? Parents come home, carers come home, they take us, and we go, go back. Following day, we come back to school, as if nothing happened the previous day. So that's, that's, that's how we grew up. Now, I hope I've got your attention now. <laughs> and uh, it gives me great pleasure to be with Omar, Taha, and the ending ignorance crowd. Because, um, as you said, we've been one of the first partners, and we've worked very closely with them. And we have so much in plan um, with Connect Lanka. Now, uh, I'll return to where I stopped in terms of my school days uh, in a few moments. But le let, me, um, let me tell you this. My personal experiences are not unique when it comes to Sri Lankan youth. Um, many of the volunteers who work with Connect probably if you ask them, would share the same stories. And going but further back, let's say 1990s, when I was about 10 years old, right? I'm watching TV late at night, not cartoons or pro TV programs, very exciting election, results coming out. Right, what happens next? Gunshots, one side. Lights go off, gunshots on the other side. What do we do? We duck. Right, we duck. No one's hurt. The next day morning, we hear that we are caught in a crossfire. Crossfire between the government forces and a revolutionary rebel group. That was the south coast of Sri Lanka. Now, this, this, is, this is how we grew up. This was my childhood and my youth. This was the childhood of Sri Lankan youth. So we wanted to change. We wanted to change things in our small way. How do we do this? We, if you believe in something, we believed in something, we believe that you go out and you do it. And that is what we believed in. These experiences planted the seeds of change in our lives. Myself and many young people like me, we went on to launch a youth movement called the Peace Initiative a movement for peace in Sri Lanka. We later relaunched as Connect Lanka in order to address the changing dynamics of a post-war Sri Lanka. We did many things, but one of the underpinning concepts was to deliver what we believe in. We saw the bitter results of the alternative, of doing nothing. Most of us have moments where we think of great ideas and then we reflect on it only to decide or conclude it's too difficult or someone else would have done it already. One of our seeds of change was the belief that we should break the language barrier so people affected by conflicts can talk to each other directly. 
without any mediators or translators or go-betweens. I'd like to share another personal experience that had a very strong impact on me. The day was the 21st of September 2005, the United Nations World Peace Day. We brought together over 200 students from all across Sri Lanka to what we call the first Youth Peace Summit. What did we do? For anyone who knew wartime Sri Lanka, they would tell you how polarized our society was. You will find a Tamil person who has never met a Sinhalese person. There was a language barrier where most Sinhalese people wouldn't know the Tamil language. And most Tamils wouldn't know to speak Sinhalese. This is a country that is not too big than Switzerland. We grouped these teenage participants in ethnically diverse groups. We wanted them to realize that they had a problem in their hands. They couldn't interact with each other. They didn't know the other's language. And on top of that, they had negative preconceived notions of the other. Our, object, our objective was to break barriers, stimulate interaction, and establish strong bonds of friendship instead of bombs of hatred. We asked them to deliver creative presentations on peace and unity. They rose up to the challenge. As a result of preceding workshops by former rebels and ex-soldiers, we were able to create a culture of open-mindedness and willingness to be informed and to be involved. At the end, we saw presentations that stimulated thought, challenged the notions, and defeated the status quo. Returning to my school days, there were many other instances after that. These events made us stronger and more determined. We were determined to do our bit for a peaceful Sri Lanka. This is where the work we do through Connect goes that extra mile and creates that synergy. At Connect, we empower youth and the communities. We believe that we can be the change. You might ask, how do we see ourselves making the change? It is through enabling opportunities. Every youngster has a dream, a vision perhaps a life that they want to live. Whilst we promote the ethos of volunteerism and positive change, we provide them the opportunities and to connect so that they will have an, ena an enabling environment to reach their full potential. We work with youth through career guidance workshops. We work with graduates on peace building. We support corporates on social responsibility and we also involve youngsters and give them the opportunities. We are committed to act and connect with as many stakeholders as we can with the desire to change. At Connect, we are driven by a super team who are watching live stream on, the, on online, I think. <laughs> um, a super team, a passionate and energetic team whom we refer to as the core, which stands for commitment, outreach, responsibility and empowerment. Finally, we take responsibility for the society we live in through initiatives like awareness on blindness or extending a helping hand towards eradicating poverty or even contributing towards championing volunteerism. I thank you for listening and encourage you to keep volunteering as it is people like you, people like you who make that difference in making the world a better place. I would also take the opportunity to invite you to visit our website, connectsl.org. Peace be with you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Asaf. And I'd just like to also thank um, the whole Connect team for making our partnership successful. And uh, it's been great 
Thank you. And um, just before concluding tonight, we'd just like to mention that tomorrow is the final day of this event, and we will be launching the End Ignorance Better site online. And um, we hope you can all make it. It will be, it will be great. And yes, we would just like to thank all the viewers on live stream who are watching us live right now, and everyone in the audience here tonight. Thank you for coming, and enjoy the apéro. Thank you. Thank you for coming.